So is that bad? Ooh, just around the head. Hey guys, Dan at SP Motorsport. This week we're gonna do a quick install on our map relocation adapter, a map sensor adapter for the 6.7 Power Stroke. We have them from 11, 2011 to current. Um, we're gonna just kinda do a quick install on this truck behind us here and show you guys a couple little tricks to put them on. It's obviously a super simple bracket or adapter. Uh, we use the factory bolt. We give you a new bolt to mount the sensor in it. We're gonna kind of go through this and explain why you may want to use this product and show you how it's used. And I have my daughter Abigail here with me and she is gonna show us what to do on this truck. We're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna go over the tools real quick to do this. Obviously very simple. We need like three tools to change this out. We had a lot of people questioning uh, how to do this and. Uh, some people are having some issues with it, so we just want to make sure you guys know what tools to use and kind of the process. So Abby's going to show you what we got. So to pop, there's a Christmas tree on the wiring harness back there. You're going to want to use a flathead or a Christmas tree tool. And then, or a, a push pin tool also, they call it. Uh, seven millimeter, yep, seven millimeter ratchet slash socket or wrench to take the actual map sensor bolt out. And then to bolt the map sensor into the adapter, you're gonna need a four millimeter Allen. There you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this yanked out here. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and pop the wiring off first. Off the Christmas, yep, you got it, I think. Yeah, got it. And then pull the wiring connector off. Squeeze that and then pull it back, there you go. Which way is it ratcheting? So I gotta go this way. You gotta go the other way, so you gotta flick the lever. There you go. So pull it this way? Nope, that's tightening. Oh. I forget this. Think of it like taking a bottle cap off. Yep. And push down on it. There you go. Good job. Can swing it out towards the front there so you can get to it you don't have to have it underneath there you go yeah keep it towards the front and you might be able to get it to a point where you can take it out with your fingers but is it loose yeah i can see it move careful I'll drop it because we're going to reuse that Good job. Okay, so now you're gonna twist it. There you go, and then pull straight up on it as you're twisting it. Is it coming? No. Okay, so what you can do, I'll show them here, hold on. What you can do is you can get this underneath of it. Okay. And then pop it with that. Okay. So take it out, there you go. Abby got the map sensor out for us, so this is, the whole point of this product. So this truck, we first time we've taken it apart, you can see what happens to the map sensor. The hole's almost clogged. So obviously you're gonna wanna clean this, but the whole point of this product is to take this map sensor and move it so that it's no longer directly in the carbon and air stream and the EGR buildup stream that's blowing through the motor. It takes it up and out of that and turns it to the side. So you're still getting the pressure reading, but you're not in a direct flow path of all the gunk and everything that's getting passed through the engine. So what we're gonna do is clean this now because obviously we don't wanna put it back in that way. Obviously you can see how bad the sensor is. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take something and jam it in here to clean it out. Don't do that. We are gonna have to get in here to open this up, but you don't wanna go into the point of hitting the diaphragm. 
So because there's a diaphragm in here that actually measures the pressure. So I'm gonna show you a quick trick here. There's obviously a bunch of ways that you can do this, but this is the easiest way. Just take your, whatever you got as far as what you're sticking in there. You don't really wanna go much further past this flange area. So if you take something like this and stick it to this bottom edge, that's gonna be about as deep as you wanna go. So take a piece of tape, kind of give yourself like basically a depth gauge. So you know you don't wanna go much further than that. Wrap it around it like that. Now you got a point to go to and we'll just go in and kind of keep the tape outside of the part and we'll just open it up like that. Now, depending on how bad it's clogged and to what extent the material is hardness wise, you know, some of this may build up and get really hard. So you're gonna need a hard object like this. If it's soft and kind of gummy, this is still kind of gummy. Uh, the EGR so it's not too, too terrible. Um, but you could use something like a, a brush possibly or like a Q-tip or, or something softer. Uh, but in this scenario, you know, obviously we're just using this. So what you're gonna wanna do is kinda get all your crud out. Now you have an actual hole there. And if you notice, it's not super deep into the sensor. So just to better explain, when the sensor is actually mounted in the manifold, it's pretty much flush. It's basically sticking into the airstream. So as the EGR flow and all the crap that's in the airflow into the engine is passing by the sensor, all it's really doing is getting trapped in the very end of it. It actually doesn't really go up into the sensor. So you'll notice when you're cleaning it, most of the crap that's in the sensor is gonna be below the O-ring. So as you can see, when we cleaned this one out, we cleared out most of the crap and didn't even go that deep into the sensor. So you wanna kind of knock it out like that. Once again, don't go too deep. Make sure you're staying below the flange. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean it out with some brake cleaner so it's nice and clean. Wipe it off and then put it in the bracket. There we go. We'll go ahead and just wipe the end of this off. Get it lined up. Got it. You can go from the other. Okay. Wrong way. Not super tight, Ed. Just snug it up. That's good, then. Just snug it up. That's it? Yeah. How it's come? Kinda hard to get since it's like Yeah, you almost need you almost need the ratchet. Try the ratchet on that one. That'll give you a little bit more of a adjustment. There you go. Let's line it up. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's not doing anything. Oh, it's because you have it going the wrong way. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so is that bad? No? Is it pretty easy? Not too shabby? Mm -mm. Cool. Oh, so you're the same height <laughs> as me? All right, so what did you think? Was that a decent? It was pretty easy. 
easy. Not too bad? Mm. Okay. So, how old are you? Ten. That's a pretty solid job for a ten-year-old, I feel <laughs> like. Pretty good job. Well, cool. Now you have a, a customer behind you, which is Kyle. Uh, <laughs> won't have EGR soot in his map sensor anymore, so we'll be good to go. Thank you. You're welcome. That saved me a little bit of labor, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not cheap labor, though. <laughs> <laughs>